Hey guys, Brendonian Productions here. And as many of you know, uh, Microsoft has released the .NET Framework 4.0. Now this .NET Framework fixes many bugs in the .NET Framework 3.5, which is the previous version, and it also allows for better programming for developers. Now, many of you have been leaving comments on my video asking, should we download Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition instead of just using Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition? Because, as you may know, Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition uses the .NET Framework 4.0. Well, today I'm actually going to be making the switch from Visual Basic 2008 to Visual Basic 2010. And I'm going to show you how to do this with me without even losing any data on your previous programs. So what we're going to do first is actually create a Visual Basic 2008 application. I'm just going to name this, uh, I don't know, let's make it something creative. Corn Dogs. Yeah, never seen that before, right? Alright, and now we're actually going to make the program do stuff as soon as it loads here. As soon as it loads, give it a second. Alright, so the form is loaded. Now, first thing we're going to do is make this like an actual program. So, we're just going to rename the form, which you can easily do by clicking on the form, then going to the text and properties. Um, I'm just going to rename this. Let's see, um, yeah, let's go with that. Now, this is not advertising, and maybe if you take it that way, but Foster Farms, since, you know, they make corn dogs. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the mood for corn dogs. <laughs> Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is actually add a button and a text box. And when this text box, or when this button is pressed, First thing it's going to do is check if the text box actually contains text by the if command. If text box one dot text equals nothing, then do nothing. But if it doesn't equal nothing, then we want to message box the stuff inside the text box. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're going to save the project, because that's all we really want to do. Um, Alright, we're also going to build the project. So we're going to build corn dogs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and that's saved. So now what we're going to do is actually continue with the switch to Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0. To do this, your first step is to download Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. The link for that will be in the description. And um, now we're just going to open a project. Now once you open a project, you're just going to find the one that you just made, or you have been working on. So I'm going to find the Cordonx folder. And then the SLN, or Solution, of Visual Basic 2008. You're just going to want to open that one. And then we will automatically open up the conversion wizard. All you need to do is press next on this. Uh, make sure you create a backup just in case anything goes wrong. Uh, yeah. All your information right there. Then just press finish. Once you do that, you get a little progress bar on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This window will open. It should uh, start working. Alright. I'll come back when it's done. Alright, so now that it's done, all you need to do is press the close button, and then you can open up your form. And as you can see, it looks just like the uh, original form we just made in the 3.5 framework. So if you'll notice, the title is Foster Farms, just like in our previous project. The text box is cool, the button is cool, everything's the same. Now if we run this project, Yes, uh, if we run it any time now. <laughs> okay, let's press the button again, maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we run it and we type something in the text box, press button one, 
message box appears. So it looks like the coding's working. Let's check it out. And yes, the coding is exactly the same. So you probably can already notice a couple few differences. When you click on like text, it'll highlight all the other words that say text or text box one or the parentheses. And you'll probably also notice that, that the font has changed overall. It's changed to more of a uh, typewriter-like font, if you will. But also, what's cool about importing a project like this is if you save it and you build it, um, it actually saves and builds to the same directory as it was before. So we'll check it out by opening it up. Whoops. So it's still in the Visual Studio 2008 folder, and then you go to Projects, and then my project's called Corn Dogs. There it is. And it has a whole new uh, group of icons in it. These are the uh, Visual Studio 2010 icons. So the executable is still here. Everything looks exactly as it did before, but now it runs on .NET Framework 4.0. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind is since .NET uh, framework 4.0 is newly released. It is quite rare for people to actually have it installed on their computer. They'll probably still have .NET Framework 3.5. So, if you are releasing software to the public, you might want to have them download. Actually, see if they have it, the Framework 4.0, by having them download the package in the description below. It's from Microsoft's official website. So, yes, that's good. But if you install Visual Basic 2010, uh, the 4.0 framework comes with it. So yes, that is good news. Alright, so thanks for watching this tutorial. This tutorial has actually set us up for my next set of tutorials about how to make an updater in your program. So yes, thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great day.